In order to hunt at this depth and in dark waters, fish have also been equipped with other systems, one of which you are about to see for the first time. Some fish even have headlights which illuminate is of the malacostide fish. This is no ordinary light, but one with a very special purpose. The light is red, yet other fish do not perceive that red light. In this way, this equipment gives the malacostide fish night vision without being seen itself. Biological light is also used for defense purposes as well as for attack just as happens with the way this shrimp defends itself. When the shrimp senses danger and its predator goes into action, it squirts out chemicals into its face, brightly illuminating the surrounding water. In the extreme darkness of the deep ocean, this light blinds the predator and allows enough time for the shrimp to escape. The way that the shrimp employs such a defense tactic leads us to the fact of creation. The shrimp cannot know which chemicals to use, nor how. Neither can it manage the fine-tuning necessary to delay the chemical reaction until it senses danger. God, the Almighty and the All-Wise, who knows everything, has created the shrimp together with its defense system. This ostracod is no larger than a bean, yet since it has one of the sharpest senses of sight of all fish in the dark, it represents a great peril. Its favorite prey is a kind of plankton known as cope pods. Cope pods produce light in order to communicate with one another. This ostracod approaches them by following these light emissions as they go on and off. Yet the cope pod also has its own defense tactic. When danger approaches, it squirts clouds of light as a decoy to predators. Confused, the ostracod starts following the other sources of light, while the cope pod escapes in the darkness. Light production is nature's most important weapon. They use light for both attack and defense purposes. A series of chemical reactions. Yet such a system cannot be explained either in terms of chance or of the knowledge and free will of this creature. It is the Almighty God who flawlessly shapes these light-producing creatures in this environment. Glory be to Him who created all the pairs, from what the earth produces, and from themselves, and from things unknown to them.